All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to set up the voice master Discord bot. So first thing you want to do is type in dot voice setup. That's going to prompt two questions. First one being the category name. So let's call that custom voice channels. The second one is the name of the actual channel. So let's call that join to create. As you can see here, it's already been set up. Once you join the join to create channel, it will make you a new one. So there we go. Um, you could use dot help. That gives you a list of commands that you could use. So for example, voice lock that locks the channel out. You can read the descriptions here. So let's say I want to change the channel name. I'll type in dot voice name. And let's say looking for players. As you can see here, the channel name's changed. And let's say I'm only looking for uh, five members. So I type in dot voice limit five. As, as, as you can see here as well, changes the, uh, to five. Let's say I don't want anyone to join my channel except certain people. I type in voice dot voice lock. That locks the channel. No one can join the channel now. And then I could type dot voice permit. And then at the user, I want to permit. So let's say me for now. I allowed myself to join the channel. Or you could type dot voice reject at the person. But there's no one here to reject. So, um, And let's say I want to unlock the channel. I just type in dot voice unlock. And that should unlock it. Uh, there's one command that I should mention. Which is dot set prefix prefix. So dot set prefix, let's say question mark. What this command does is it changes the default prefix for your bot in your server. So you can't use dot anymore. So let's try that. As you can see, it doesn't work. From now on, you have to use question mark and then the command. So question mark out. And let's say you want to change that back. You do question mark set prefix full stop. And that changes it back. And once I leave the channel, um, the channel gets deleted and the server is clean and tidy.